No way. Check this out. PE Nation. You never see this brand in thrift stores. Can't believe it's still on the rack. I wonder what it's worth. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that changes everything. How's your race? Race was good. Yes, I ran a half marathon yesterday. Um, Where's your medal? Oh, I shouldn't. I, actually, yeah, that's a good call. Gold Coast Running Fest half marathon. A little bit hilly. Was which, it? Yeah, which was or... kind of annoying. I, I'd say 80% flat, 20% hills. Yeah. Um, have run the course before, so I knew it quite well. But we've been training for six months for this event, and uh, I ran it in an hour 41 minutes, which I was pretty happy about. I kind of wanted my stretch goal was to go under an hour 40. And I was going to be disappointed if I was an hour 45. So an hour 41 is kind of yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. I was feeling pretty good about it. And I was assuming that that's sort of what I was going to run. So it was a big weekend. We didn't go to the flea market, obviously, because I was running. Mm. Um, so we are actually really low on stock, which is a concern for me. Um, I'll show you guys the whiteboard and we'll go over some numbers for how the week was. It was a horrible week last week in sales. Yeah, slow. We had a slow week, guys. Um, we did, we did about $2,100, so we were doing about 300 bucks a, a day. Um, and we normally like to do anywhere between 350 to 400. So we were down last week. Two and a half grand is what we want to always get. Two grand, two, no, 2,100. Um, didn't help us towards our goal of 11,000 that we've got set um, for the month. And right now, we're at $336 a day average for the month. And we're projecting to hit about $10,080. I think we were projecting last week's video about ten and a half grand, um, so that's pulled down, and really we're just trying to survive to get to ten grand, um, and we've got a day and a half up our sleeve. So whatever comes in today and tomorrow, we need about four hundred and twenty dollars uh, to hit ten thousand in revenue. I think we'll get that, mm. um, but still, when we're trying to hit eleven k, scraping to hit ten k is not fun. Um, but we're always optimistic as ever, and uh, we've got a lot of good stock in this room. We had some sales that came through over the weekend. Don't know exactly what the weekend total of sales was, but we've got 20 orders to put into a mailbag today, and we're gonna go pick them out in this video and show you guys. I will then be going out and trying to find stock in thrift stores, literally to get us through today. Courtney and I were just speaking, obviously, on the fact that the sales have been a little bit low, and we're not trying to, we're not quite hitting a goal of 11K. Um, to maybe run a sale to end the month the light in the next day and a half, maybe two and a half days. Um, so we might do a 20% off store-wide sale today, which could make for an interesting video because then you'll be able to see some more sales coming through. But what we'll show you first up is 10 sales that are the full asking price sales. And we've got some actually, we've got some good ones, don't we? Yeah. We had a bit of a look while we we're having a coffee and there's some good ones to talk about. So let's jump into that. Right, top number seven. These are a very, very recent one. I can't even remember if I'd put these into a video or not. Oh, I can't remember. But anyway, the brand is keen. Have a zoom in there on the brand. I'm sure you guys, if you've watched this channel, will be thinking, yes, Matt, we know Keen is a good shoe brand. Mm. Uh, but this is just yet another sale to highlight the fact that, well, yes, it is. Um, we sell it all the time. There it is there. There it is on the sole, Keen. Um, now, these ones interested me because I've never seen a pair of Keen shoes like this. Um, but they are very good condition and they are a um, sort of a hiking shoe brand. Um, but this one kind of isn't. It's more of like a slip-on. Yeah. And they're a women's size 7. And there was actually, look at this. There was actually a sample. It had sample written in it. Um, so I actually found it really hard. And I can't remember what the title was. But I'll obviously show the screen grab for what, what key, uh, I guess, characteristics I used to get this thing found uh, through search. But I don't actually even know what it sold for. 45. 45 yeah well, there you go $45 but the condition was epic really good condition so you know for me when I was in a thrift store I just saw these I saw the condition was good and I saw the fact that it was a keen shoe and uh, I paid $10 for it and I didn't even have to look into it I'm like we'll do that when we get home um, then I obviously ran into my troubles but um didn't stop the sale only sold in about a week I didn't realize we're recording yes <laughs> um yeah so this is the sale 13 Singstar, I used to love Singstar, me and my sister. Really? Used to perform for our family. Um, but yeah, $40, $40 sale price. When you got these not long ago? I actually got them on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, I got them on Saturday. I haven't spoken to 
anyone about it because it was just so recent. Um, but I bought 60 games for $60, guys. Mm. And this SingStar bundle, I don't know, it, it, SingStar makes me cringe. I, it's probably the reseller in me talking more than the... Uh, yeah. More than the SingStar in me. Definitely. Um, yes, I have played these games and sung on them and had fun on them, but <laughs> from a resell perspective... No. Not great. You see SingStar and you cringe, don't you? Yeah. Um, so, for that reason, I thought, righto, there's a lot of them in this bundle that I bought off Facebook Marketplace. I paid a dollar each, so I paid $13, and um, we got a sale price of 40 bucks. What's that per DVD, then? Mm, it'd be like $3. Yeah. Yeah, like $3 a game. Yeah. And that's what they sell for. Yeah. Um, literally, if you were to sell them individually. Yeah. So, 13 in a in a box yep. should cost about 10 to $12. $40 sale price, it basically gets us some money back. And then these games that you're seeing here, which were some quite good titles, uh, came in this Facebook Marketplace buy. There's a SingStar. That one goes for about 25 to 30. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a good spy. Because <laughs> these were all literally, I, I comped everything. Mm. And that one was worth about 27, I think. Yeah, that's good. Um, so yeah, anyway, we've gone ahead and listed up all of those. There was another bundle that I did that didn't hit the mark. All of those games are listed for sixty dollars. Mm. So sixty and forty, that's a hundred bucks. And then all of these games individually at an average of twenty-five. Mm. There was quite a lot of value off a sixty-dollar Facebook Marketplace buy, mm -hmm. and the category that we like to sell. So Facebook Marketplace guys, you can find some good stock, and as you can see, no matter how you try and sell them, they do move. Uh, well, I tell you what, I would not buy these in the thrift. This came in a bulk buy. Mm. Um, a pair of blacksmith work boots why would you not buy them in the thrift because i don't think blacksmith is a great brand oh. i don't think it's a, a high comped out mm. sort of an item on on ebay um could be wrong um you know work boots probably do have a place on ebay for good sales but uh it's just not a typical item for mine i just sort of saw it just in the mix of a private buy and i listed it because it was obviously in really good condition mm. um the size isn't amazing i can't remember what the size was but they do look pretty small um, but they're the, in the base. A five. Women's five? No. A small. Yeah. Or a five. Mm. Um, but we've got 40 bucks. Mm. And uh, we'll put them in a medium satchel. Yeah. I think it'll hopefully fit in a medium. Yeah. Uh, I, I still, even with a fast sale, I don't know, I just wouldn't probably recommend you buy it. Yeah. If you see it in a thrift store. I can't probably say too much because we sold it for 40 and it did sell fast. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Blacksmith. I haven't seen the comps on eBay. I can't remember the comps on eBay, but mm. I don't think there's too much good history on this shoe. All right. Got a hat. Hat sale. September 11 NYPD baseball cap. Yeah. Um, this one we got quite a while ago, actually. Hey. Had it for a while. Yeah. Sold for 23 plus 35. It's going internationally to the United Kingdom. Um, so what's that in total? 50. Well, 60. with sales tax, it was like a $66 sale. Yeah. Um, you don't see the sales tax for international sales. Mm. Um, it works out to literally what it is, 23 plus 35, so about $58. Yeah. Um, we'll send this to the UK, though, for about 20 I think we actually make a bit of money. Yeah. On the uh, on the shipment with international. Yeah. Um, we put a. You're probably thinking, why did you send it off for thirty five dollars in postage? We just blanketed on a few of our items for thirty five dollars postage. Yeah. Um, which, you know, whether an item like this in weight means that it actually doesn't sell for that much, but we just do it on averages sometimes. Unless it's Mexico. Oh, you don't want Mexico. That we'll go for seventy. We do try and exclude <laughs> places like Mexico. Because that is a horrific postage charge. And newbies out there, if you're not doing calculated shipping and you're just trying to set a basic postage rate, um, you'll get burnt. Yeah. Uh, I've done that many times before. Yes, we have. And we have not learnt our lesson. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, we have now. Well, we have, yeah. We're very good now. <laughs> mm -hmm. How's your golf swing? Yeah, good. My friend got a um, hole in one for the first time ever. Really? Yeah, she was stoked. When was that? Uh, like last weekend, Just down so. Chin Chindra. Oh yeah, Chindra. I played Chindra. Um, yeah, she that's hilly. Yeah, hole in one. She was stoked. 
That's um, that's a lifetime achievement. Yeah, when she told me, I was like, oh, cool. And then she's like, no, man, like, some people don't ever get a hole in one. And I was like, wow, that's actually cool. Then. Absolutely, some people don't. Yeah. That's actually the elite. Yeah. Um, I, can't, I don't think I'll ever get a hole in one. No, nah, I'll drive the golf buggy around with the bear. Yeah, as will I. Yeah. I don't mind my golf. I've got a few mates um, that love playing golf. And I think golf is very much a thing that you do when you hit 30. It's like running. I yeah. feel like everyone's running now and playing golf. Yeah. It's a 30s thing. Yeah. I it's know. just being in that, that uh, 30s bracket. Mm. Um, I've played a little bit of golf recently, but um, I certainly didn't put these shoes on because mm. they are a size nine men's. Mm. And they won't do the job for me, but um, it has done the job for somebody else. Uh, these shoes are in great condition yet again. It mm. is missing a little spike there, but I'm pretty sure with these golf shoes, you can, you can get a rubber spike pretty easily. Yeah, I think we took a photo, so. Yeah, we did. And that's, that's the thing with these items. If it's missing or if there's a little blemish somewhere, um, you can always take a photo of it and just highlight in the description. You're going to be fine. Um, so these shoes actually sold for $75. Yeah, wow. uh, Nike is a very premium golf shoe brand, like it is premium for any other category, um, but it does go really well in the golf space. They are a Nike React as well. And just like the other shoe that we were talking about before with the style code, if you're very new to shoe selling, that's what we mean by style code. See that there? AQ1479-001. So that is what Courtney and I, when we buy a shoe or if we're out in a thrift store and we're contemplating whether or not to buy something, we're actually searching that in Google to get the exact make of shoe. It's not just a Nike golf shoe, it's a certain Nike golf shoe and we wanna find out what that is. And then we go ahead and we do our comp research on eBay with the information that we found on Google. And it all started with the style code. So when you're doing shoes and you're not too sure, um, that's definitely the process to go through before you buy it to determine whether or not you should. Uh, and then once you've got it, to make sure you're obviously putting a great listing together to get the thing sold. Um, great pair of shoes. Golf category is a really high resale value category. Mm. Um, we don't do clubs or anything like that. Um, but like golf shirts, we used to do really well when we just sold a lot more clothing. Um, but these golf shoes, if I had more of them, um, if I could find more of them, um, they would continue to sell just like this. Uh, video game, single one. PlayStation 3. The Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. Um, this one has no manual in it, but the discs are in amazing condition and we've got a $45 sale price for that. Big game. Yeah, big game. We like getting games for $45. Tales of Symphonia. Um, came in a bulk buy. Don't know a lot about the game. Haven't played the game. Mm. Have you played that one? No. No, but it's got multiple discs. So I don't know if that stands for something. Normally, yeah. most games have obviously got the single disc. Yeah. So maybe there's some special features to that one, but it was comping up pretty high. Yeah. And a uh, $40 sale price and a tracked envelope. Yeah, tracked envelope, pretty good. Which is now $6.80. Um, but when you're selling $45 games, that's okay. The pair of shoes, last pair of shoes, actually. Um, these Nike Hyperdunk men's... Is this a basketball shoe? I don't know. Yeah. Yep. Uh, men's nine and a half. Got them in a thrift. We can't remember exactly how much we paid for these ones, but it would have been. It was a great deal. Much. It was yeah. cheap. I just don't know the exact figure, but it was really cheap. They we got a sixty-six dollar sale price as well as thirty-five international. So they're going to the US. Um, so they'll probably go max twenty-five ish mm. um, to thirty. So yeah, can't complain. Fair few internationals today. We do. We've got a lot of international sales. These shoes, albeit cheap, um, they had some marks. Like, I noticed there was a bit of peel up the top here. Not, nothing too hectic, actually. But there was another one. Um, maybe on the front of that. There was a mark. Yeah, see that peel? Yeah. I took photos of that. Yeah. Because uh, that's the sort of thing you don't want to, you know, buy. But we got away with it, even highlighting it. And even the tongue, if you want to show the tongue there. It's a pretty worn tongue too, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, you take photos and you highlight the actual condition of it. This would have been a $120 odd dollar shoe, I feel, if it was in great condition. Yeah. And what you need to do is you need to look at the item that you've got and go, okay, yes, it's a $120 shoe, but is ours a $120 shoe? Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, based on those blemishes and maybe if there was even a little bit more heel burn um, and, and heel wear or sole wear, it falls the, the value of what the shoe's worth a little bit. And that's why this one fell down to about $70. Yeah. 
And I think that's what's allowed us to make the sale. 100%. Because yeah. if we if we said, oh, you know, Hyperdunk, whatever, it's worth 120. Yeah. In that condition, it won't sell. No. So you've got to make sure you, you really look at your item in the pre-owned game. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of people don't do that. Check it out. Just another Gold Coast day. I know. Stunning. Cloudless. Just wow. don't show the cloud over on the right-hand side there, because that would oh, yeah. completely go yeah, against what good. I just said there. Yeah. Um, cloudless skies, amazing weather. Looking forward to getting out to the thrift a little bit later and finding some good stuff. Mm. Finding stuff like this would be nice. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Coast on DVD. Now, this was season one to six. Uh, the British coastline, Courtney. Oh, lovely. I'd love to go there. You would love to go there. That's yeah. why I raised that with you. I know. Um, do you know where the Isle of Wight is? Cornwell. Jeez, you're throwing me through a loop there. <laughs> Really put the on, on the spot, live on camera. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's in the South Isle of Wight. Oh, yeah. And there cool. is an amazing music festival that takes place there once a year. Fun. Mm. Isle of Wight. It's um, something I want to, uh, to add onto the bucket list. Yeah. I would dare say that this show actually takes you to the Isle of Wight because it's pretty iconic. Yeah. Uh, $65, I think we got for this. Yeah. I'll have to put the correct comps up on the screen for you guys. But we got this off Selwyn very, very recently. Um, he came over a couple of weeks ago. I documented it on the channel a week or two ago. Um, and I bought this off him as well. And I bought it off him for very, very cheap because he's a fantastic bloke. And um, yeah, we were able to sell it in a week and a half for 60 odd dollars. So yeah. the DVD box sets are still selling. Um, yeah, I probably don't need to say too much more on DVDs because nothing's really changed for us with DVDs. We're just getting the good ones sell. Yeah. Uh, and we're realising more and more that those other sort of broken up seasons aren't doing as well. Mm. We're just trying to raise that average DVD price. Um, but these ones here, never any issues. All right. Super Mario Bros. Wii. This one we've sold before. Mm. Um, has a manual. We've actually got another one here to try and sell too. Oh, yeah. Two copies of it. Manual. Have we got the right one? I think we do. I think we do, because I think the photos of the comp have Has that, that sticker, sticker on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, $40 sale price for that. Always sells very well into a medium track envelope. Can't complain. No, can't complain. It's Mario. Yeah. What I want to know is why we're not selling these. We've got Super Smash Bros. in volume. We've got so many of these Wii Sports Resort games and we've got Mario Kart we've got three of them mm. like these are banging titles so I've, I'm thinking that because I've been there for so long we've probably got them priced just slightly too high yeah there's actually another Wii Sports Resort right here I'll leave that there for now there's four Wii Sports Resorts they should be out the door yeah we might have to check those price points but as Courtney's just shown you guys this one it's a $40 one and it typically always sells for that Welcome to our very organised pile of cables. <laughs> oh. Some of our best work here in the garage. Stressful. <laughs> uh, but these, though, are able to be taken out. Mm -hmm. $40 sale price. We have four PlayStation 3 controllers that do not work. Um, so for that reason, we just thought we'd do them in a bundle and price them up for 10 bucks each and let somebody that knows how to fix them up, fix them up. Mm. Um, we don't want to deal with it. We don't want the headache. And I think that's a great way to look at it. Um, efficiency is a very important thing in what we do. And uh, when you get big bulk buyers and you get things that don't test up to be working, it doesn't mean you throw them away. There's always value to be made. And we got 10 bucks each for a couple of pieces of plastic that don't work. Um, so a $40 sale price. Uh, small or medium? Medium. It's probably going to be a medium. Maybe a box actually would get it done for a small price, a small yeah. satchel price. Compact box. Compact box, yeah. Just some bubble wrap, and that'd yeah. be job done. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the video game category doing really well. Have a look at all the consoles that we've got here. Uh, we've got a lot of consoles. We've actually got so many consoles now that we're, <laughs> we're piling them on the floor. Mm. Uh, we've got the consoles in that corner over there. We've got some consoles hiding down here too. There's three down there. And then we've also got one more just random console sitting here too. Oh, lovely. So we've got to work out something. We've got to do some rearranging. I think it's this. It's, it's the hats. It's got to happen this week, hey? Yeah, what are we going to do? I don't know. Because <laughs> no one wants to buy a hat. No. Um, we'll look at that. We will look at that this week. Yeah. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Yeah. Yeah. And these are the last little few 
bread and butter type items. This one here though was an international as well. So we had a fair few internationals like I said earlier. Um, and yeah, electronics. Yeah, I'm just thinking what I need to do for you, nothing, eh? No, did you say you needed to get envelopes though? Yep, I need to go and get you some envelopes, which I'll do. Mm -hmm. uh, but you could probably just make a start. Yeah. It's right on 12 o'clock. Yeah. So I'm going to go out and do some thrifting. Mm -hmm. um, I'll find you some envelopes. Mm -hmm. You can work on the rest. And then hopefully after thrifting, I can bring you back some stock to list up. Because mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be priority for today. We've got to get out. We gotta, I'm gonna actually going to put a sale on. I'm going to put 20% off on. Yeah. 20% off store-wide sale. I'm going to yeah. activate that right now. Go out and do some thrifting. And then hopefully we can just be shipping out these sales because they should come in pretty quick. Yep. at 20% off and uh, hopefully I can find some more stock for you to list. Store-wide sale has been activated. it will be interesting to see even in this video while I film for the next few hours just to see how many sales do come through off that 20% off sale. I don't like, I don't like to do sales. Um, you know this resale game is quite profitable in the sense of margins on the actual just item itself can be quite good um, but then when you add all your other biz, uh, business related expenses into it and you can, your margins can fall below 40 percent um, so when you run a 20 percent off sale that 40 percent profit margin becomes well basically 20 percent profit um, and you're only talking average sale price items of 35 odd dollars you know profit of 20 percent is like seven dollars in profit um, on average so it's not something you want to run all the time and have a $7 profit average store for too long. But in these sorts of scenarios where maybe you've seen some sales dip over a, a small period of time, like a week, like we've had, I think just activating a little store-wide sale isn't the worst thing that you can do. Um, but you don't want to get in the habit of just trying to price everything so cheap that things sell and you don't actually make any money. So there's a real balancing act to it. I'd love to get your thoughts on markdown sales in the comments if you can. Let's start a little bit of a conversation around that topic. Um, but it is a really cool feature. I th I'm pretty sure it's because I've got a, um, a store, like I've purchased a store subscription that I get that accessible feature of running a markdown sale. I don't think you can do that. I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I haven't had a store. Um, but if you've got like a basic personal seller profile, I don't think you can run a markdown sale. Um, and when you're trying to make a little bit of money on eBay and you're not doing it just for the pure hustle of trying to sell something that you've got lying around the house, I think it is worthwhile to have a store subscription for those little extra features. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely, I have gone ahead and activated it now at you know, 12 o'clock. So um, it's going to run for two and a half days. I can stop it at any point in time if you know, things aren't working out to the way that I want it to. Um, and I haven't put any restrictions on any particular items either. I've literally gone full store-wide sale, which probably isn't the best way to go about doing a markdown sale. You probably could, should get a little bit more strategic. Um, but I'm just going to let it fly and just see what comes through, and I'll continue to play it out until I don't like the way things are looking. But uh, it'd be nice to get a few sales come in, especially with Courtney working Monday, Wednesday. Um, you know, over the two and a half day period, she'll be able to ship off everything that comes through. Um, so I'm not going to be sort of, you know, from a workload's perspective, I'm not going to be putting myself under the pump. I'm still going to be able to go out and, you know, source a bunch of items this week. I'm still going to be able to make these YouTube videos because I've got Courtney there. I'm, I'm deliberately running this sale today uh, because I know that I've got her help over the next two and a half days to make sure the post goes out efficiently. That's crazy. Look at this. For $20, I have found a pair of blacksmith boots and they are a size 5. I haven't seen blacksmith shoes at all in thrift stores and sure enough, here they are. That's nuts. I think these are going to be a good find though. These are the Special Force Air Force Ones. 25 bail, $35. But I think I'm going to do it. Couple of little winners in the DVD section. I found Mrs. Brown's Boys. Um, this was the original series DVD box set. I got it for $7 and I should be able to turn it into about 30 bucks. And I've also picked up Absolutely Fabulous. It's not an amazing TV box set, but it is a box set. So I'm gonna go for about 25 on that. We're paying $6 in store. I thought we were doing pretty well and it wasn't until the uh, lady at the post office said, geez, you guys are early. Until I realized that we're actually doing really well for time today. 
it's only two o'clock and Courtney's just smashed the post. Obviously, it's a, a much shorter process when you're not shipping as much. We only had 20 orders in the end that went in the mail back uh, on this Monday morning, but still, you know, two o'clock to be done with the shipping. I'm gonna go out and do a little bit more thrifting. We've found a couple of things so far, as you know, but I, I still need a few more things to round out this day. So let's get back into a few more stores. Just found these, which is something I haven't really sourced before, and that's Crocs. Um, but these are the iconic Crocs Comfort. Uh, they're $15 and they're a women's size 10. I'm gonna try and sell them as a women's 10 rather than a men's eight. Uh, I think that'll just allow for a better sell through rate. Yeah, have you guys sold Crocs? Let me know. I've also found this as well. This is the board game Cranium. And it's only $6, but Cranium sells for about $40 to $50 on eBay. Um, it's got all of its little characters in there and I had a bit of a look through the contents of this board game and all of the pieces seem to be in there and as you can see there are quite a lot of pieces but it all seemed to check out. That's my only limitation when it comes to board games. For a while there I was only doing the brand new and sealed but pre-owned we'll give it a go. Yeah, this was awesome guys. PE Nation. I can't believe I've actually found this jacket in a thrift store because it is a very high-end brand. Uh, we should be able to get some good money for it. I don't exactly know how much though they're going to price it for nine dollars that's amazing that changes everything guys we should be able to go on to sell this for about a hundred bucks and i'm absolutely going to pick it up well it doesn't matter how much clothing i do i'm always going to buy a pe nation jacket whenever i see it in the thrift for nine dollars even better uh, size medium i actually think this is a women's wear brand i was in the men's section looking at the clothing and that's where it was but i do think the pe nation is predominantly women i could be wrong uh, but I'm going to list that up, I believe, as a women's size medium. Uh, probably won't list it for the full $100, like the comp said, but uh, I might go 70 bucks on this one. It is in great condition. There's no marks or tears on it. Uh, and we're coming into winter as well, so that's obviously a really timely purchase. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. Haven't got a lot of clothing for, up for sale, but I'm sure the quality of this item, it'll get it done. Now, I'm going to absolutely shoot myself in the foot here and tell you guys that this Salvo store always does well for me. <laughs> I always pull out good items whenever I'm in here. Rarely do I come here and, and come out of here empty handed. So, thrifting gods, please don't allow me to have just jinxed myself and uh, let's go and find some more of the same. Pair of shoes here. I've had a bit of luck with the shoes over the last few weeks and uh, I reckon these could be okay. We've got a pair of ASICS trail running shoes, which isn't something I would normally sell in the ASICS range. It's more the running shoes. But for $9, I thought this was worth a go. However, I had a bit of a look at a quality test and unfortunately there was a big fat hole on the inside left, so I left it behind. Uh, I did find these though, which was a pair of Nike Odyssey Reacts. A bit of a consolation prize here for 45, maybe about 50 I reckon as a buy it now. Um, they were pretty good for $15. And then here you go. We've also found these as well. I knew this store would pay off. Doc Martens, albeit a little bit of a blemish there, but these sell every single day of the week and twice on Sundays. I should be able to get about 150 bucks for these. Paying the 49 in store, so it is steep, but we should make some pretty good profit. Well, it might have only been two items, but it didn't let me down. The Nike Odyssey Reacts, I'll list them up for $50, probably take a best offer. And, uh, with the Doc Martens for $49. They're not in the best of condition. There's, I only say best of condition in the sense that there's just that little nick, just there as you can see, a little blemish on the tip. But I don't think it's gonna affect the resale value at around $120. You know, $50 is a lot of money to pay on a pair of shoes. However, I have sold so many pairs of Doc Martens buying them for $50 that I've just got a lot of confidence on making at least $30, $40 worth of profit on these. And I think we're gonna see our money back pretty quickly on the sale too. I think it's gonna turn around pretty fast. So for that reason, there's a lot of confidence in the purchase uh, because of what the product is and having had that past sales experience. A bit like the Cranium board game I picked up earlier. I only bought that for $6 because I just recently sold it last week. And uh, I know that there's obviously a bit of an interest in the game. So, you know, using your past experience and your past sales or your past sits, the items that just don't seem to leave for you and you can't get a sale no matter what you do. You know, all that information over time, it just compounds and compounds and your knowledge just grows and grows. And it's in large part why I try to make these videos because it's through my experiences that I can now let you know if you're a beginner 
to grab a pair of Doc Martens and you can, can pay up for them. Um, and things like Cranium Board Game is, is a good one to find as well. And that obviously gives you that information ahead of time. Um, so hopefully you've learned a little bit in this video so far, but I don't know. We've got another three items there, four items there, I should say. Five items, actually, I should say. Um, we've got the Crocs as well. So, what to do, what to do? I think I've pretty much got one day's worth of listing, so at least I can give all this back to Courtney today and she can get me, she can get me to tomorrow. But on Tuesday, I typically like to edit these videos and I don't really often leave the house for too long. Um, so, you know, I might have to go out and do some thrifting tomorrow just to get myself ahead of the game. Obviously got this 20% off sale running as well. We've had four sales come through in the last hour and a half. And uh, unfortunately, they've all been the cheap $15 DVDs that are selling for 12 bucks. I think there's three of those sales and then we've sold a, an untested PlayStation 3 console for 50 bucks. Um, I mean, you know, it's good in the sense that there's $80 worth of sales that have been able to come in the last hour and a half. But uh, we need a bit more than that. We need some, we need some high-valued items to sell at that 20% discount. So hopefully over the next two and a half days, we can get a few more sales and boost that revenue up over a, over at least 10 grand. So that was a pretty decent day yesterday. We were able to go out and get all the $500 worth of value for the store. Courtney was able to list everything and ship everything off. And I've been able to pretty much edit this video that you're watching now as well. Um, so it is Tuesday morning. The sale's been running now for about 24 hours. I'm just having a look at the sales figures. And yesterday we were able to finish up on $327, which is still kind of below our averages, even with the 20% off sale. So it didn't fly. Uh, and then today we've got $158 so far. So today we might finish on about $350, $400. Um, which does get us well over the $10,000 goal. So we'll sh we should end up on about $10,200, maybe $10,300 um, by the end of today. So we didn't quite get 11 grand. Well, I don't assume we're gonna hit 11 grand, um, but the 20% off sale for these couple of days, I think has been re a really nice boost um, to get us to where we kind of wanna be. Um, so I don't regret doing it. I think it's a healthy thing for you guys to be considering every once in a while, as I touched on. Um, if you guys enjoyed the thrifting part of this video, there's a video right here which is a really heavily based thrifting video. Uh, a lot of the items in that video have actually already gone on to sell as well. So some really good ideas for you. Uh, appreciate you being here for this video. Look forward to seeing you soon.